hopefully you're having a wonderful November. If you celebrate Halloween, hopefully you got lots of candy or just sat there and just watched horror films, whatever you wanted to do. I'm just hoping that you had a wonderful time. So today I wanted to talk about the different Pomodoro intervals. The default one is always 25 minutes, but there are different ones you can work with and then tweak here or there and figure out which one makes sense for you. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. And for those who don't know me, my name is Siobhan and I talk about productivity, just work-life balance in general, mainly for working moms. And as well as I trickle here or there things about my kids and my life as a program manager. So let's go ahead and get started talking about the different intervals that you can use for Pomodoro. The first one is the default one, which is the 25 minutes. So how it works is you put a timer on, usually it works better with a timer. You put a timer on 25 minutes, you work without any interruptions or multitasking because it's never good. So you work for the 25 minutes, then you take a five minute break. Do whatever you want in those five minutes and then you do another 25 minutes after you do four 25 minute intervals then you take a longer stretch of time for your break and that's usually 25 to 35 minutes you keep going like that until you complete the task that you have on hand or your day but that's usually how the default goes i will say that the default one does not work for me usually and it's because as much as I try I do tend to get distracted by the time I get into that flow state and I'm sitting there working and just concentrating on what I'm doing it takes about like 10 minutes and then to get interrupted at 25 minutes that's just way too short so let me go ahead and tell you the interval that works for me the second interval is working 45 to 50 minute stretches for me i prefer 50 minutes and then what you do is you work 50 minutes you take a 10 minute break and then usually instead of waiting the four intervals like the 25 minutes i do it after three intervals and then i take 30 minutes to just stretch my legs, do whatever I want to do to just rest. But that really works for me, especially with tasks that have different parts with it or something that's gonna take longer, let's say like an essay or some type of strategic type of planning, that seems to work well with me. But you can also pick a shorter interval and that's what we're gonna talk about now. So the third one is working 10, 15 minutes and then taking a three minute break. And then after four intervals, then you take 15 to 30 minutes. Usually that works well for shorter type of tasks checking email, calling someone, but hey, it could work for you. So I just wanted to throw that out there that there is also a shorter interval than the default 25 minutes. And then what you can do as well is you don't have to be set on just one interval. If you want, mix them up. Maybe you decide that for certain tasks, like I said, if you're checking email, use the shorter intervals of like 10 to 15 minutes. If you're doing something, maybe you're having a meeting with someone or something that isn't gonna take an hour, do the 25 minutes. If you are, as I said, you're working on an essay, you're creating a process map or something that's gonna take you to really take a while to do, then do the 50 minutes. So play around with the different intervals. There could be an interval that I didn't even talk about that you might try and you might say, hey, that works better for me. That is the thing. I think sometimes we tend to beat ourselves up if we don't follow the norm and we fail at it. Then we feel like, oh my God, I'm just doing it wrong. I just suck and stuff. But that's usually just not the case. Guess what? Humans, we're all different people. We don't think the same. We don't act the same. So of course we're not going to do the same things. So play around with it and figure out what makes sense for you. So I wanted to close out with saying that I am offering a free productivity checklist. I have like the different processes and tools that I use and you can use two to three or even more, use all of them and see which ones are making your life easier. So I'm providing that as well as a sample work schedule that I have uh, mainly for working moms to see what a schedule for a working mom is that is working for her, they can tweak it for themselves. So go ahead and check that out. I'll put the link down below. And with that, I'll talk to everyone soon. Bye.